I was playing around in 3D Stager trying to find a way to make a mockup that looks like this where the shadow is cast onto the scene and you don't really see the object itself, just the shadow that it makes. But what I'll be going for is something like this where it's a leaf casting over it and it's so like it's a bit more of a complicated thing where something like this is just a model. You just put the model in and cast a shadow, but a leaf, there's a little more to it. So if you want to get that kind of effect, all you got to do is download a PNG of a leaf. So in my case, I'm going to use this fern and you'll take this into Photoshop to make a, a couple different maps out of it. It's super easy. And then take those into blender where you'll cut it up and kind of put it on a model and then just stage it in 3d stager and kind of make a scene out of it. So I'll go ahead in Photoshop and make a new document. It'll be 1024 by 1024, so a square. And then once that opens, I will drag and drop my leaf. I'll scale it up. The resolution doesn't really matter, even though technically you probably don't want to be scaling things up like that, but it doesn't really matter. And I want two things from this, the albedo map, which is the color and the opacity. So First, what I'll do is I could probably just export this already. I, you could like blur the edges to really make sure that no white will appear, but it, you won't actually see it, so it doesn't matter. So I'll just go to export and the original settings here are fine. I'll export this in my desktop and I'll just call this leaf albedo. And now for the opacity, what I want to do is with the layer selected, I'll just control L for my levels and drag the mid tones all the way to the right to get it black, click OK, and then I'll actually invert it. So with it selected, control I, and then I need a black background. So I'll layer, new fill layer, make it a solid color, make that black. So that is what we're looking for. I will, actually, it kind of looks like there's I can see a cutout of it actually. There's a thin white line. So what I'll do is make a mask and just kind of get rid of that. I'll go around. I mean, you may not have something like this. Yours might be clean, but in my case, I'll just cut that stuff out. And I'll make that black. So now it's gone. And so now that is good. So I'll export this and it's important that you have not moved it at all. You want the opacity and the color to line up with each other. So I will export this. I'll call it leaf opacity. And with that saved out, what I'll do now is I'll hop into blender and I'll make a default plane so mesh plane and then i i just want to apply the the material onto it so i'll make a new material here and in the base color section because I, I don't really need the opacity right now so i'll just use base color i'll select the dot and add an image texture and so now i can click open and go to my desktop and find that al albedo and so if i switch to the viewport shading there it is so if i were to center it, you can see there's our leaf. And so right now, this may be all you need. You could technically take this into 3D Stager and just compose your scene and then it's good to go. But I kind of feel like we should take a little further and bend the leaf a little bit so you get more of like a realistic look to it, even though you technically won't see it, so you might be able to get away without it. But I'll go ahead and do it. So I'll hit K on the, actually in edit mode. I'll hit K and then just start dicing it up. And then same thing other side, I'll try to keep it somewhat even. And then I will go from point to point. And essentially I'm just cutting up the image so I can then with it as a 3D model, just uh, start bending all the pieces. So that is looking good. I'll delete these extra faces. So I'll select it with W, delete the faces. And so from here, you'll just move the things around, maybe add more detail with it and add more loops and whatnot. So like this, actually, you know, it's probably easiest if I just edit it right now and then make all the higher level details. So like I'll take the two middle pieces, I'll go to the vertex select mode, drag these up, 
drag this guy up and kind of like bulge it out a bit. You're technically stretching the texture, but it, it doesn't matter. It, I think it's worth it just because you're like getting an actual fold to the model. And so now I'll move these guys up a little more. And it's fine if it's not exact because it's a leaf, you know, it's supposed to be a little free form. But I will bevel the center. So if I select the bevel, And that that's looking fine. Like honestly, it doesn't necessarily need to be much more detailed. This will probably work. So what I will do is export. Actually, let me just for the sake of it, I will select all the faces and change that to shade smooth just in case. And so, yeah, I'll go ahead and export this file export OBJ. And I'll put this on my desktop. I'll just call this leaf model. And so I already have a scene made here in 3D Stager. So what I'll do is just go to this other camera so I can give you an idea of what I was doing. So it's just a, a center piece model, the ground plane, and then a camera up here on the top, and then an environment that actually lights it. And it's kind of important. You like I like to use like a real environment rather than some kind of studio setup, because in this case, I want like a sun beam cast on it, making this big shadow. So if I go to my lights, you can see I'm using this HDRI. It's like a, like a field you can kind of see in the background. Um, and if you want to actually see the background to just mess with these sliders, but yeah, so this gives me like a, a good light to work with. So if I import my model, it's kind of small. Let me scale that up. If I had to guess a lot, there you go. Um, obviously it's a leaf, but it looks like a solid shape. So we got to give it the opacity. So what I'll do is with this selected, I will go to the opacity and select that map. Actually, I can just drag and drop it. So I will drop that. You can see what I was talking about earlier with the white edge. Um, the opacity map doesn't quite line up, but because we can't see the leaf, it doesn't matter. Um, but that is perfect. So what I'll do is from here, you'll, you'll just stage the leaf. So if I turn on ray tracing, it'll actually cast a shadow and the, the sun is coming from up here somewhere casting this way. You can see by this shadow. And so I'll just rotate this guy and kind of experiment with it. Cause it, like with the sun being so low, it's kind of hard to like predict how the shadow is going to work. So you really do just have to mess around with it and eventually you'll get something cool. So like if I go back into my up top camera, you'll see the leaf kind of casting a shadow now. So yeah, that is pretty much the process for making a mock-up like that. You could just dial it in a bit more. Like right now it looks, looks kind of sloppy, but that's the idea. So if you want to create something like these mock-ups, that is how you'd go about it.